Hello and welcome back to the Achievement Planner and today I'm coming to you with another Lego game and this one is the first Lego Marvel game, Lego Marvel Super Heroes and this was a really awesome game. I remember playing it a long time ago. I actually did not get the videos for this game. Uh, Stars007 who helps me with my videos, he got um, he, he got this, uh, all the gameplay for this and I, I had completed all the Lego games like a long time ago so that's why I don't have any gameplay for this one. But, uh, yeah, so that's it, so h thank you for the help. And, uh, anyway, but I have this plan here for you, and we're gonna go over it. And this is a great, this is just such a good LEGO game. So this game has 45 achievements for 1,000 gamer score, and it, I give it a 3 out of 10 difficulty, only because I remember this game having races that I honestly said, this game and the Sonic races in LEGO Dimensions, I said, I don't think I'm gonna get all these races. They were so hard. But, I ended up getting them, so it's okay. Completion time, 40 to 50 hours. And playthrough number one, like every other LEGO game, story playthrough, and playthrough number two is free play. And basically, you clean everything up at that point. Um, not, I mean, except for Skywalker Saga, that's, that's a little different. But yeah, but this one, typical LEGO games are like this. So, story achievements, category number one, 15 achievements for 300 gamer score. And just for playing all the levels, you are going to get all these achievements. Yes, that is right. Category number two, miscellaneous achievements. Nine achievements for 250 gamer score. So number one, falling with style, 20 gamer score. Complete the first helicarrier skydive. So when you're on the shield helicarrier, he he helicarrier, oh my. You can go on the edge, a little little area, and then skydive. There you go, first time you do it, you get an achievement. Yeah. All right, number two, road rage, 20 gamer score. Destroy 100 vehicles in the Manhattan hub. And you're, you're just in this huge version of Manhattan. In, in New York City and um, yeah and uh, of course you should use the Hulk I mean why wouldn't you use the Hulk to destroy things but you could use anybody you want all right number three billionaire philanthropist and this is where you're going to collect one billion studs um, and yeah doing this is not easy unless you have the red bricks and when you get red bricks you can then so you, you find these things called red bricks and they give you special like cheats but they're like approved cheats so if you get the times two cheat, every um, every stud, everything of money you get, then it doubles. And if you get times four brick, you get then times two times four. So then everything you get would be times by eight. And if you get times eight, you see what happens. So it, eventually, it's super easy to get one billion. So if you can keep get if you can get the red brick sooner rather than later, you'll get that no problem. Number four, post credit party, and this is for completing the house party protocol. So when you're finished with the final mission of the entire game, you can go to Stark Tower and you can, you know, do some stuff there and you'll complete this after you do it. I won't tell you what's going to happen, but yeah, it, it, it'll be fine. Anyway, number five, cosplay. 20 gamer score, create a custom character, which, you know, that's, that's, that's typical for these games. So you just find a custom character area. Um, and then six, the Toast of Cro Croydon. Yeah, I guess. Uh, 20 gamer score create a character called Trevor in the character custom is customizer. So yeah, there you go All right number seven. It's me time 20 gamer score read a comic in Deadpool's room on the helicarrier So Deadpool has a room in the helicarrier and he also has comics But the way to unlock the comics is by finding all ten of the mini kits in each in each level So once you find all ten mini kits um, You will unlock a comic and you just have to go read one and then yeah, you get that achievement <laughs> So number eight, ultimate true believer. Unlock all true believers, and this is each level has you have to get a certain amount of studs in order to get the true believer status. And guess what? If you have those times multipliers on, you get this no problem. Maybe even the first hit you do, first stud, you'll get enough. And then number nine, you win a no prize, which is complete the game 100%. Even though we haven't talked about everything 100%. But yeah, these are the miscellaneous achievements. Uh, all right, category three, character achievements. 11 achievements for 210 gamer score. Number one, don't I know you? Team up Captain America with Human Torch. Oh my gosh. All right, so Steve, um, what's his name? Um, Chris Evans was Human Torch in Fantastic Four and he's, act and he's Captain America in Adventures. He's talking to himself, get it? Oh my gosh, all right, anyway. So you have to have Captain America as one player and you could switch to the other player and put it as Human Torch and there you go, you got that. Number two, it's clobbering time. Okay, thing. Defeat 100 enemies as the thing. All right, these are not complicated. These are just little things you got to do. 
Number three, I'm always angry. Guess who that is? That's right, transform into the Hulk 50 times. I guess you could just, just like grind this out. You could just turn to Bruce Banner, Hulk, Bruce Banner, Hulk. Or you could just keep playing the game and you'll get it. Number four, this is fantastic. <laughs> First time turning in, turning Mr. Fantastic into a teapot. Are you kidding? So yeah, Mr. Fantastic can turn into different things. So just turn into a teapot. Oh. All right, five, Stan Soapbox. Turn into Stan Hulk. That's right. You get to play as Stan Hulk. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> I know, Stan Lee. Oh. Anyway, number six, Puny God. Just like in the first movie, you have to perform Hulk's special move on Loki. So one character is Loki, one character is Hulk, and you'll be good. Number seven, welcome to level seven. Play as Agent Coulson, so you'll unlock him eventually. Eight, fastball special. Perform a special throwing move as Colossus on Wolverine. So this is something from the comics that he used to do. He used to take Wolverine and throw him. And he would go, like, really far, because Colossus is really strong. So, you just have to set one character as each, and then do that. Uh, number nine, Menace of, of Magneto. Drive to the Baxter Building, which I'm sure you'll know at some point where that is, once you're playing, as Magneto in the Magneto Mobile. Alright, so to get the Magneto Mobile, you need to actually do Professor X's missions outside of the X-Mansion. Uh, and then both of them, both Magneto, which you get later on, like, in Chapter 13... And then also, um, the Magneto Mobile, they both cost 150,000 studs. So, if you have the times multipliers, you'll have like that, no problem. So yeah, so you're just going to have to unlock both of those. Uh, number 10, Alter Ego. Perform all the big Lego figure transformations. So for this, you need the, the, you need to hold Y, and then you can turn into like the bigger version of them, whatever. So the people you need to use are the Hulk, Incredible Hulk, uh, Red Hulk, Venom, Kurt Connors, who becomes um, the Lizard, and then Stan Lee. So you have to get the five of those. And you just have to do it, and then, yeah, you, you will get that achievement. Pretty cool. And then the last one, 11, can't hurt me, bub. Regenerate as Wolverine. And the way you get this is you have to let them, you have to let an enemy hurt you so much to remove all your hearts. And then once you turn into a skeleton, you'll start, you slowly regenerate. Because, you know, that's what Wolverine does. Anyway. So, um, yeah, so category four, collectible achievements. Ten achievements for 240 gamer score. Number one, Stantastic. 30 gamer score, rescue Stanley from every peril. And this is one of those things where you have to save the, save the, save the character throughout. Like, Stan will be stuck in a tree or I don't know. I, I don't even remember where he's stuck in. But, yeah, you have to save him. Number two, and, and, uh, and, and you, can, you can usually find um, some of the red bricks. You can usually show you where things are. You know, number two, Avengers assemble, assembles, collect all the Avengers characters. Oh, so these are all the collecting of the characters. So number three, you have to collect all the Sinister Six characters. Who it says it right there. For four, you have to collect all the heroic mutants. So all the X Men, and uh, number five, you have to collect all the evil mutants, and then six, you have to collect all the Iron Man armor. Seven, you have to unlock Black Cat, and then you have to unlock all the animal themed characters and all the Guardians of the Galaxy. Who, if you're collecting every character in this game for 100%, you're going to get all this anyway. So I'm just lit, putting it there, but, you know, you'll get this. And then the last one, really? Collect Howard the Duck. And to get this one, you need 20 gold bricks. And then you can open up, there's a little entrance thing. And Marvel Comic Headquarters entrance. Um, and then you'll see the Marvel logo there. But there are these things where you can build an entrance to thing, And then you go in. And there's like a mini level there you have to beat. And if you beat it, you unlock Howard the Duck at that point. I think you also may unlock Vulture, I think. Anyway, so, but the point is, uh, yeah, you unlock all these people. And guess what? That is the entire game. And I hope you enjoyed this LEGO game. It's awesome. And, uh, yeah, and then this, the second one is awesome in a different way. So that's cool. Uh, so, yeah, I will talk to you next time in Achievement Planner. <laughs>